What's up guys, Gamer Gets Fit. That's a treadmill in uh, the back of my living room. Dining area? Yes, whatever. I'm about that life. Let's go. Today's video is not going to be necessarily the funniest, uh, you know, high energetic videos or whatever. Um, I want to talk about something that's often neglected or not talked about in the fitness industry. And this whole uh, whole scene, the whole community, especially on, on YouTube or, or really anywhere. It's, it's about the social impact of your fitness, you know, about being, being that life. Um, I feel nobody really talks about this and that fitness and losing weight more specifically when you're dieting because when you're bulking you can go and eat whatever the heck you want but I mean losing weight specifically and fitness doesn't have to kill your social life trust me I, I know the importance of sticking to your diet and your macros but my question is at what point does that take priority over everything else over the people around you your friends family whatever the people you love at what point do your macros become more important um, than, than the people around you, the people that you actually love. And the crazy thing is, people think that only overweight people have uh, you know, bad relations with food or issues with food. But nobody, nobody tells you that it shit's gonna get worse once you get into this whole fitness thing. You know, once you start tracking your macros, you're, once you really get into this, that's when this shit gets so much worse. At least for me, I've had bad um, relations with food um, from when I was obese to, to even now. And I admit that I think my connection with food is worse now than it was when I was at 260. There somewhere. You know, I think I'm at my fittest and my leanest or whatever the heck you want to say now. But I think it's worse how I treat food now because honestly, all I see is, is calories and, and fats and, and carbs and protein. Even when I, you know, don't want to track. And first of all, I, I, I've been tracking for, I don't even know how long now, um, my fitness pal. I think even when I do have a meal or I try to have a meal where I don't want to track, I'm still tracking. You know, this is crazy. And I can't remember the last time I just sat down and enjoyed a meal. And I feel like that's something nobody talks about. And it sucks because, you know, going into this, you should know, you should know what to expect, right? Because... You can prepare yourself for whatever when you're going into it with like a healthier state of mind. Because when you go in with a healthier state of mind, you know, you won't have issues like this going in later on. The sacrifices you make and the damage you do, not only to your mind, but, but to your, your social life is irreversible after some point. I don't go out to friends. I don't go... Um, you know out to hang out because I know there's gonna be food there. I don't go out to eat um, With you know on whatever holidays or occasions. I don't and it sucks. It really sucks and what happens when you start turning down invites is You know you become that guy when your friends want to go do this. Oh, no, you know you make up some bullshit excuse Because uh, you know there's gonna be food and you're not gonna be able to track or it's not gonna fit your macros or this or that and uh, you know you start turning down invites and sooner or later they're gonna stop coming and you know it sucks to know that I've been that guy you know, all I can say is I've lost uh, more than just weight on this journey and uh, I've lost more friends than than I would have liked and believe me I'm, I'm trying my hardest I'm trying my my damn hardest to change that I changed. I hate to use a DJ Khaled a thing lot. here, but you know, I changed a lot. And for the few people, my family and friends that have stuck by me, man, you guys like are the real MVPs, you know, for real. Because seeing me from an outsider perspective, I'm a terrible person. For sticking with me, man, you guys are the real MVPs. And I freaking love you guys. You know who you are. And, uh, you know, I'm sorry. This isn't a typical happy-go-lucky video, but it's something that had to be said. And if you're going into this now, just, you know, if you can take away one thing, it's, it's that it doesn't have to be that hard. Don't be that hard on yourself. And I, I wish that I'd gone into this with a healthier state of mind going in, but um, like all bad habits or like any habits really, it's really hard to change once you're already uh, doing something a certain way. 
for going through the same thing, you know, drop it in the comments, man. I'd love to know what y'all um, are going through. You know, if you know what I'm talking about, I certainly don't think I'm the only one. Um, but yeah, if you think someone might benefit from, from this video, go ahead and, and share it with them, man. I'd love uh, to start this conversation. And I really feel that, you know, it's something that's not talked about in, in this industry. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'm sorry I have to be so down for this one, but this is a real conversation that, that had to get started, had to be done. Um, but yeah, thanks, and I will see you in the next one.